I stepped away from competitive sailing, actually sailing completely, for about five years after not getting selected for the Rio Olympics. You know, the thing that kind of brought me back was actually Evie. Evie asked me to mentor her. I said, let's go sailing and we'll figure out, you know, how I can help you. And that sailing session went for about an hour and it was magic. <laughs> We both walked away from the water that day and kind of knew but didn't say to each other that <laughs> that actually worked really well. And it's very rare that you come across someone that you work so well with, especially on the first sail. She was talking about how dedicated she was, her natural feel, and where she wanted to take her sailing career really sparked an interest in me to potentially get back into it. I approached Olivia knowing her as a silver medalist and as the inspiration that I had as a child looking up to someone who really made a history for Australia in the Olympic Games. There will be a big cheer around the world for the 20-year-old Olivia Price. There will be few better deserved silver medals in the Olympic competition. Winning a silver medal at the London Olympics is by far, you know, my most proudest moment. But it did take a while to, I guess, process not winning gold. You know, I still uh, yeah, vividly remember everything that went on during that day in the third race. It's probably one of the most haunting moments that I will continue to remember where I got sucked out of the boat in the match. Oh, someone's off the boat on the Australian. Olivia fell out the back of the boat there. Now, as a 19, just turned 20 year old at the games, uh, that was a very emotional roller coaster experience, and I know that it did take me a bit of time to actually figure that out. Doing that with her crew of three was definitely something to look up to. It was inspiring. I actually vividly remember her coming down to Dremoyne Sailing Club with her silver medal and showing all the juniors, and so I wanted to, from then on, I, I went home that night and I said to my dad, um, I want to go to the games and, and like Olivia, I want to win a silver medal or win a medal, <laughs> maybe not silver. But yeah, let's go one better this time. Yeah. A moment that clearly means so much to these sailors. What a world championships they've had. We won the bronze at the Worlds only 18 months after we stepped in the boat with one another. We had a process and we're sticking to the process and we were going to work towards it for the games and for it to be pulled off you know a year out from the games it was almost as if okay what we're doing is working you know to be able to stand on the podium you know that certainly wasn't the goal it was supposed to be you know a work in progress to be honest this journey has been incredible you know uh, stepping away from sailing I, I honestly didn't think I was going to come back the drive and the passion and the enthusiasm that Evie has is what really drew me back to high performance sailing and you know it's an incredible opportunity that I'm going to my second games Olivia has been instrumental and honestly has an amazing talent to teach what she knows, not just in skill and technique on the boat, but also in how to manage emotions and how to regulate different pressures in and around sailing. The goal is definitely still to win gold. Um, you know, we may be seen as an underdog or an outsider. There's nothing bad about that either. I've got all the faith in the world in, in the two of us to be able to go and do what we need to do. It's like you're struggling ahead. To be able to walk away from this Olympics and still have my little sister Evie um, <laughs> smiling at me every day would be, you know, something that we would we would have been through, you know, hell and back together. Coming away from Marseille, I well, I know that the last two and a half years have been worth everything no matter the result. We definitely have a really good understanding of each other and that's what we're going to use as our strength in Marseille to work through all of the highs and the lows that come with the games and yeah, try and leave it all out there.